Yes. Was he a cheap man? Well, I wouldn't say cheap. I would say he was, he, uh, watch his money. Frugal. Well, the, all the guys back in them days were pretty much that away. You know, because see, <clears throat> Abdullah came from Canada originally, right. and he came up poor. And and the, the big spenders during that the, during that time was a guy like Ric Flair, Tony Atlas, uh, uh, Andre the Giant. You know, certain guy. But he was a type of guy. He wanted to take his money home. Right. See, Abdullah was a businessman. Mm -hmm. He invested his money. You know, he would invest his money. I, I was about a bunch of jewelry. He said, don't buy a bunch of jewelry, Tony. Get one nice piece. You know, he said, but it had one good piece of, of, good, uh, of jewelry. Then a whole bunch of that little bit of cheap stuff. You know, he, had, he would invest in, 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 in gold. Uh, and he would invest in real estate. And sure enough, when his career was all over, he, you know, he invested in, uh, in, uh, in, in the food in industry. In a restaurant. Yeah, in, in a restaurant. So, so he was one of them guys. He did not. He did not want to leave the business broke, because the history of not just uh, wrestlers, but the history of a of a lot of great athletes, they leave. The, they make a lot of big money, but then when they leave the, the profession, they no longer have anything to look back on. And Abdullah did not want to be uh, uh, one of them. Uh, one of them people. So, and and it's guys like that now. I hope he don't mind me saying this. Kane. Kane would not spend no hundred dollars for a hotel room. He won't do it. Yeah. He would look around and find him a sixty nine or seventy nine dollar hotel. If he a hundred, hundred twenty, the sometimes the office would get us hotel room. The, these hotel rooms normally go for two fifty a night, mm. but we could stay there for maybe one ten or one fifteen. Right. You know, we, I, I ain't talking about you know uh, 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 Motel Six. I'm right. talking about you know like the, the Westerns, yeah. the Hilton. You know, right by the airport. You know, the, and the shelter. You know, the continental. You know, breakfast with free buffet, meal. free breakfast. Yeah. The whole kettle kabuta there. You know, and, and we were staying at like the Mohegan Sun. The rooms were. You know, expensive, but sure right. yeah, but you know, the guys was able to stay there for like eighty dollars a night. You know, same thing in Boston. We just stay at the used to be the old, uh, uh, right there in Rivera, right right by the Rotary there. Yeah, it, it was a hotel we stayed at. Everybody up to checking the hotel during that time paying one hundred fifty. We were paying sixty bucks a night. Yeah, you got a good deal. You know, sixty dollars a night, right by the airport, shelter to the airport and everything. You know, so. This was, uh, you know, it's right at the road. Yes, right, right there where you get on 60. Yep. I know yep. exactly that, where it that, is. That's right, that's right. It's Sugar, Sugar, Sugar. Uh, I think it's a, a, a Sheraton now. Yes, it's a Sheraton. Now. Yeah, it's nice changed. hotel. It used to be a Hojo's. That was a Hojo's, Howard Johnson. That's right, that's right. And then right around the corner from that, it's a gym I used to go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this, Tony. Abdullah the Butcher, we mentioned, never had a big run in WWF. He was never there at all. Were you surprised to find out that Abdullah was going to be enshrined into the WWE nope. Hall of Fame? Nope. Was it deserved? Yes, he did. Yes. He did. Uh, I was not surprised because uh, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, people that, like, take William Perry the refrigerator. He had one match. One. Right. And he's in the Hall of Fame. Snoop Dogg appeared one time, got in the Hall of Fame. So you had a lot of people in the Hall of Fame that did not work for WWE. Vern Gagne, I don't think he ever worked for nope, WWE. Nope. See? Were you surprised to learn that Abdullah, as soon as the induction was over, sold his ring? No, I didn't know he that. He got 20 gay for the ring. <laughs> you kidding me? No, you didn't know that. What a, snap, a smack in the face. That's, That's how disgusting. I at it. That's disgusting. Well, we mentioned he was frugal. Yeah, but yeah, but you don't you, you don't do that. That that you know, I'm I'm disappointed to hear that about him. I mean, you know, that that's an honor. You know, Paul the Vader, Vader, uh, Leon, Leon loved White. Him. He would have loved it. Yeah, I mean, he he put in so much into this business, and and, and you know, world champion with WCW, the the whole killer Kabuta, and, and and he left away from him, not having the opportunity to be in the in the Hall of Fame. And never, Alvin Koloff just passed away. Yeah. And then pulled Jim Neidhart, they're putting him in now, but he don't know he's going to be there. Right. All them years, Jim Neidhart and the Hart Foundation, you know, they put Bret Hart in. They, they put everybody in, but they didn't put, you know, Jim Neidhart right. in. Yeah. Yeah. They did it this year, right. th th thankfully, but the man is gone. So he, he would never, 
enjoy, Abdullah was able to enjoy that ring. He was able to wear that ring. Well, he didn't he wear it for able, very long. <laughs> he was able to enjoy the ceremony. The, right. To, he, was, he was being honored. He got his five grand. Well, he was honored. It's not so much the money. It, it, ain't, it ain't all about the money. He's being honored by the greatest wrestling organization in the world. Like when them football players refused to go to the White House to see President Trump, to me, that was disgusting. I mean, how many people get the honor? Of being invited to the White to House. To the White House. Being invited, they're going to pay everything, going to fly you on their jet, put you up in yep. a nice hotel, and honor you. I mean, they could. That, that's a story they could tell their kids from when their football career is all over. Sure. The, none of them guys are going to ever have any, a, a bigger event than being invited to the White House. And every player had done it. You know, it ain't so much if you like our president or you dislike our president, you have to learn to separate the man from the position. Right. Like I may meet a police officer that I think is the worst individual walking in the face of the earth, but that don't give me the right to disrespect his uniform. You know, yep. I may not agree with the Vietnam War or uh, agree with uh, the, the Iraq war, yeah. but I have to give praise to the brave women and, 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 and men that sacrificed themselves Absolutely. to go fight their wars, regardless of how I feel yes. about the war. If I'm not on the battlefield dodging and ducking the bullet, I should keep my mouth shut. Anybody that get an honor from an organization such as the WWE, that's a, a great, great, great honor to have for anyone. Are you disappointed in it? I'm very disappointed that he done that. Very disappointed. Flash, I, I didn't know that. If, Even though he was my mentor and he helped me a lot, this is one thing that I heard about Abdullah that, that I, and I would tell him that was wrong to do. That's like taking it and throwing it back in their face. If Larry Shreve came to you and said, Tony, I think I'm going to sell the ring. I can get 20 grand for it. What would you have said to him? I would say, you're nuts. And, no. and you're being very disrespectful. That, that you know, why would you go there to get it? Twenty grand. Why you even go? <laughs> no, but yeah, but don't yeah. Then you see, it's got to have some moral value yeah, to no yourself. No morals in that situation. It's no, he, he, yeah, he's showing no more. Being very, very disrespectful to a place that honor him, and they didn't have to. I mean, you got a list of guys just sitting around waiting. That actually wrestled for them. That that worked for them. Yeah. That would love to have that opportunity. Right. Love to have the opportunity, and then he take that opportunity and treat it like a. You know, like it's, it's something that came out of a bubblegum machine. Right, yeah, not too wrong. But, yeah. Tony, as we wrap up this segment, how do you, how will you remember Abdullah the Butcher, and how do you think fans should remember Abdullah outside of selling his ring? Ab <laughs> Abdullah was one of the, the, what I would say, the most, one of the greatest, uh, uh, most excited uh, act that this business has ever seen. Mm -hmm. They were never, they were, you can't repeat it. It's one of these things you you could do it one time. And there have been many people come out to try to do similar, mm -hmm. uh, again, the missing link and, and so on and so on. But Abdullah made that mark. I mean, he made that mark. He showed the people something that they did, never saw before and would never see again. So he, he was a, a very amazing uh, individual in the wrestling world and would never be forgotten. And very well dressed. You wouldn't think of that from a man from the Sudan. No, he liked the no. bleed, but he was very well dressed. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was he a very classy individual. He, he had a lot of class. And if you meet him, perfect. He's a perfect gentleman. A gentleman. You know, he, he's very gentleman. He's very professional. But he's uh, he's always been a businessman. Right. And he looked at that thing from a business point of view. So so he saw a twenty thousand dollar business deal, and, and he took he it. Took it. it was very disrespectful, in my opinion. Very disrespectful to the WWE. But it was his choice. He made a choice. Right. Bad choice, but he made it nevertheless. The World Wrestling Federation was live in Portsmouth, Rhode Island, Saturday, July the 3rd, 1982. In the opening contest, Pete Sanchez beat Jose Estrada via ref's decision after the time limit had expired. Salvatore Balomo with the win over Fred Marzino. Tony Garotti defeated Johnny Rods. 
S.D. Jones, victorious over Duke of Dorchester, Pete Doherty. And in the main event, WWF Intercontinental Champion Pedro Morales retained the title over Cowboy Bob Orton. If you were in Portsmouth Live, share your memories in the comments section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of time 